Hi, my name is Alex with the Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be taking a look at Confluence. What is Confluence for? Who should use it? And why you should be considering using Confluence if you're not already. Let's jump into some documentation and then we'll jump into the tool. Okay, so this is supposed to serve as a brief primer, as an introductory video for somebody that does not know what Confluence is at all. I urge you to explore Confluence if you're not currently because Jira and Confluence usually come as a bundled pair. They work really, really well together. And if you're only using one, but not the other, this is your opportunity to consider using Confluence. Now, in a nutshell, if you've ever used Wikipedia, then you probably can appreciate what Confluence is. Confluence is a knowledge sharing application. It's a product made by Atlassian, again, intended to work with Jira, but it's there to store your knowledge information, your knowledge base. It's there to create meeting minutes, how-to articles, pretty much any written form of communication that you want to share with your company and your team is designed to capture, store, and basically share that information. It works beautifully because you can collaborate in real time with multiple editors, kind of like Google Docs. You can integrate with Jira. So in the Jira tickets, you can see documentation and references back and forth between the two different products. And like Jira, Confluence is also expandable by multiple different plugins available in the marketplace. So you can really, really expand the power of Confluence by adding diagrams, release notes, and so much more. There's hundreds of different applications available that can really extend the power of Confluence. The interface is very similar, if not exactly the same as Jira's, and so that familiarity, that barrier to entry is very low, especially when you've been using Jira. So Confluence is really an amazing tool to help teams collaborate together. It allows you to easily organize, analyze, and scale. It also allows you to have team calendars. There's automation coming soon. It's a great place for you to have some analytics, some admin insights. There's a lot of security built in. You can lock up pages and you can actually only share whatever information you think is actually important. Coming soon are guests. So if you're working with outside companies that need to have access to the information in your company, you can specify a specific little silo of information that is approved for some external party to be able to access. Now, if you've ever used Wikipedia, then this is probably going to be the easiest way to explain Confluence. Confluence is very much just a place where you create pages, aka like web pages, and you just put information. You're typically greeted with a blank slate, like a Word document, if you will, or you can pick from one of the many, many, many templates available. There's over 100 templates available where Atlassian has actually created like a little rubric that you can just start filling in and start capturing critical information that your team needs to be aware of. And if that doesn't cut it for you, you can actually make your own templates that then other teams in your organization can follow along with. So if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I typically do a ton of Jira videos, but we're now going to start folding in other tools and other products such as Confluence. And so we're going to be taking a deeper dive into all of these features in Confluence. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like. And if there's a particular feature you're very curious about, let me know in the comment section below so I can make sure to incorporate that feature or functionality in a future video. Again, thank you so much for your support. I look forward to exploring Confluence with you. And in my next video, with respect to Confluence, we're going to be looking at the interface. I'll walk you through the UI. We'll start getting into the weeds and learning how to use Confluence effectively. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you in the next one. I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of sh come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to 